It was about a girl who sold herself for one million a night. Indecent proposal. proposal, yes. Yes, that's it. And I thought that, hmm, maybe I can do this too with my virginity. Amy, I'm 19 years old, I'm from London, and I like Summer Virginity with the help of the Cinderella Escort Agency. The reasons why I like Summer Virginity is because I love to be able to travel around the world. I would also use the money to help fund my studies, but most importantly, to help support my family. That's the main reason why I'm doing this. I then found that Cinderella Escort Agency was the perfect one for me. I then applied via the website, where I provided all the information which they requested. Shortly afterwards, I received an email back from them where they explained to me step by step the next stage I had to take. I had to make sure I visit my GP within a week, providing a certificate verifying my virginity. Verifying my virginity. Perfect! I also had to visit a psychiatrist to verify that I'm mentally stable and I'm aware of all my actions. I also had to send a passport photo to verify my age. And I met up with them, and we had a one-to-one -one with them, we had a talk, we just talked things through, we discussed, and I don't regret anything that I've done so far. It was a long process, but I'm happy that at the end of it, I'm a part of Cinderella Escort Agency. It's too painful. It's too painful. My kings, according to the book of the Cheek Pounding Prophecy, and peace be upon him, he once stated that if your girl has not been ran through like the yellow light and she has not been touched by many, that girl will make a good wifey complimentary. What's your body count? One. I've been with my husband since I was... Do you well. swear that? Perfect! So I am a virgin. Thank God. My brethren of the congregation, according to Cheek Slang Genesis 101, it states, If her cooter has not been passed around, used and abused, and it has not been infected with any unknown diseases such as bacterial, you might want to consider that girl to be wifey material. My brothers, can I get an amen? <laughs> Now, in the scriptures of Thotaladians, it states, if she takes her clothes off on OnlyFans... You were on OnlyFans. Only only how, how much were you making on OnlyFans? Anywhere from like... 35000 a month, depending on the... <gasps> and if she's the type to get booty hole naked all over social media, that girl probably has AIDS and chlamydia. Perfect. Now, gentlemen, we are going to be switching up the content today. We are going to be looking at some wholesome moments of the modern woman. Now, this video took very long to put together because seeing these types of women, you only see them in fairy tales. I'm a 23-year-old virgin. I know that Perfect. must come as a shock to you. Can I'm a virgin. Perfect. Never got close Perfect. enough. And the only time you will get to see these types of women is when you see a Bigfoot riding a unicorn. This is a certified hood classic. Your butt, butt, butt. To this day! To this day! Alright, if you had a boyfriend and he said, I don't want you going to nightclubs, would you do that? Yeah, I'd probably respect that. Same. Do you think that's being possessive? No, I think that's being respectful. Because it's a nightclub. Yeah. Right? These girls could not have answered this question more perfectly because all a man really wants from his woman is respect and cooperation. For men, disloyalty doesn't have to extend to cheating. It can actually be very subtle. Things like hanging out with people they don't like, letting people speak badly of them, not taking the advice they gave you, anything. The moment they sense any disloyalty, respect is gone. Number three is tolerating his deal breakers. Ladies, men can only respect us as much as we respect ourselves. Because when a girl goes to the club, she is putting herself in a position to get fucked. <laughs> Women go to the club for free attention and free validation. And I go to the club 
I'm about to bust. And I just thank God that they play loud music because I be straight ripping ass. Much better. What would you rate yourself out of 10? I'd say a six. A six? Yeah. How come? Because I'm not, I'm not like, oh my God, she's beautiful. I'm just okay, you know? Do you love yourself? Yeah, I do. Okay. There's a lot of girls that say, if you don't rate yourself a 10, you don't love yourself. Oh, well then I guess I don't love myself. No, you do. <laughs> For some strange and weird reason, when she admitted that she wasn't the most beautiful, to me, she instantly became the most precious and the most beautiful thing in the world. She is very gorgeous to me! <laughs> because not like the modern woman, she is living in reality. And her humbleness, her humility makes her so attractive. She is a rare breed of specimen. She is that Bigfoot riding a unicorn and she must be protected at all costs. Because, gentlemen, when a woman says she's a 10 right off the bat, it should be an immediate red flag. Okay, rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. 10s oh, across the board. Oh, period. period. Okay, isn't saying you're a 10 admitting there's no room for improvement? No, no, no. not at all. Isn't the first step towards improvement admitting you're not perfect? You're right. Yes. Too short. What's my favorite word? What's my favorite word? Curry. Guzzler. Why they gotta say it like short? Cream gobblers. What's my favorite word? Cream gobblers. What would you rate yourself out of 10? I'm gonna give myself, right now I'm feeling myself, I'm gonna give myself a 10. No. 10? No room for improvement? I could, but right now I'm feeling myself. That doesn't make sense. I still feel like a 10. No, I gotta be a 10 in my own world, right? What do you mean? I gotta be a 10 in my own world. What does that mean though? Like... I mean, if you're not the baddest bitch in your own world, then you can't be a bad bitch. What if you envision yourself getting higher on the scale? Oh, I always can. You always can. You could always get better. So you'd be like a 12? Yes. A 12. Who's a 12? Like, J-Lo? Um, who's a 12? Who's a 12? Shakira's pretty bad. Shakira, Shakira she's bad. old though now. She's still bad. You guys want to know what else is bad? Her grading scale. She says she is a 12 out of 10. I think what she was trying to say is more like 12 out of 10,000. Look at her pants. It's hanging on for dear life. She is a cheeseburger away from bursting. And gentlemen, this solid four, and I am being extremely generous. This solid four thinks she's better than you. And when she dates an average guy, it's considered settling to her. Let that sink in. You know what? I'm feeling nice today. I will give this girl a 10 minus six, which equals four. And that four equals four the streets. Welcome punch. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. What would you rate yourself out of 10? I'm an 11 out of 10. No. What would you rate yourself out of 10? An 11. So you're better than perfect? Hell yeah. No, you're not. Say that. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. So you have no room for improvement. Maybe a little. <laughs> Maybe. So what would you rate yourself? An 11. What? What the fuck? How are you going to improve if you're 11 out of 10? I'm constantly improving. It's evolution. Come on. You're 11 out of 10? Yeah. What, what would you rate me out of 1 out of 10? 7. I'll take what it. What would you rate me? Maybe like a 5.8. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. Have you guys ever noticed that the girls with a bird chest, the girls with the flattest pair of tits, always have the most to say and the most to talk about? Like, damn, 
Haven't you gotten everything off your chest already? Guys, this woman is like a damn rock. And like a damn rock, we skipped the flat ones. Perfect. 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 Perfect.